Hello and welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Sumi Das and with me is Senior Managing Editor for CNET, Kent German. Kent, thanks for being with us. Sure. So it's been a few days since Apple started accepting pre-orders for the iPhone 5, which goes on sale on Friday. The numbers so far are setting records. How good have they been? Well, I know in the first 24 hours it was 2 million, which is double what we saw for the iPhone 4S. And um, over the weekend, I'm sure it's a lot more. Okay. But... Uh, at the risk of being ostracized, there are some people out there who may want to wait, right? I'd sure. Th th and what are the reasons for doing that? Some people might think that unfathomable. Well, there are a few reasons. Um, number one is, uh, how much is it going to cost you? So, of course, you only get that cheaper subsidized price, $199, $299, mm -hmm. if you can are eligible for a new contract. So and if, if you, you bought, bought a 4S... Yeah, when it came out, then no. it's probably not going to be you. So you're going to want to check with your carrier. And if you are not elig eligible yet, you're going to want to wait for that, because otherwise it's going to cost you $599, $699, you know, a lot of money. Yeah. More money than most people sure. want to spend. And more money than it's really worth. I mean, it's really worth that subsidized price. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, besides, like, the cost of it, there are some other reasons why you should probably wait, too. I mean, you know, th this is a different phone, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, there are carriers. Uh, that's one reason. Is that, you know, it's going to be out immediately with Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T. It's going to come later on the t September 28th to carriers like Cricket, some of these smaller carriers that are prepaid, they're regional. And if you, want, if you don't want to wait for those first three carriers, if you want something else, then you should wait, because it's going to come out later for others. We just don't know when exactly, but it could be, uh, it's probably a good idea. And all the accessories as well. I've, I've heard that uh, it'll be the more expensive, higher-end accessories that will be available when the phone is first released on Friday. And then the more affordable accessories will be available later. Is there any truth to that? Well, and, yeah, sure, the, definitely. But also, you remember, have to accessories is everything that you have now. So if you have an alarm clock, if you have a music dock, it's not going to work because the iPhone 5 takes that new, smaller port. Mm -hmm. Now, there's going to be an adapter available. That's $29. And But yeah, I, I was trying to think of how the adapter might work if you have it resting in an alarm clock, and then there's that adapter. Is it going to flop over? Is mm -hmm. it, you know, you, you're going to want to think about those things. So are your accessories going to work even with the adapter? And if those are really important to you, you're going to wait because people are developing those accessories with the new port, but it's going to be a while. Yeah, it's going to take them some time to catch up and get them to market, right? Absolutely. Okay. Kent, thanks so much. A few reasons why it might be a good idea to wait. Thanks for watching Inside Scoop. See you next time.